I gotta say, dude, Team Yell might literally be my least hot take. Team Plasma is my least favorite. You're kidding me, right? Team Plasma is my least favorite. Team Plasma, like from Gen 4 or Gen 5? Gen 5, yeah. No, dude, no, no, no. You're telling me that Getsis? Yep. Dude, Getsis, ha that dude straight up wants to destroy the entire world just so people will get rid of their Pokemon. Are you kidding me? Least favorite. How? Don't like them. That's unfortunate, man. Like, Getsis is like, in my opinion, like t S tier protagonist or antagonist. Don't like them. Boys, girls, guys, girls, what is going on? My name is Isalti, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Sword and Shield Hardcore Cage Lock Surprise Lock. I'm here with Rival Roki. Introduce yourself, my man. Hey, yo, what is going on, guys? Rival Roki here. Hope you guys are doing good today. Yeah, for sure, for sure. We had, we just had a cage match and a gym battle. Yeah, we did. <laughs> in the last episode, the gym battle and the cage match were both huge. So be oh, sure yes. to go back and watch them. Um, man, because spoiler alert, me and Roki both lost somebody during the gym. And we both the, lost a good Pokemon too. Yeah. And during the cage match, I ended up losing and losing my Charmeleon. And we got our own Charmander at the end of last episode as well. So to rub I don't some know. more salt in the room. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. He might be like super salty now. Dude. <laughs> I hate hey, it. Hey man, you can you can make puns with me. You can make puns with my name I too, just dude. Hate, I just hate that I lost the cage match. But hey, like you did win the first two though, so it I was redemption that I very well needed. But I, I, I was down bad. Lo I lost Charmeleon. I think I would have rather lose. Um, Vicavolt. 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 It's great. I love it. It's too slow. Yeah, it's definitely a solid Pokemon. But yeah, if if you don't have like Trick Room or just something with a little bit more speed, it's definitely. Yeah, definitely a little tough. Also, I think I need to get off of the internet because I'm really laggy. Well, you got to catch your wild area encounters. And... Yeah, it's true. Are you easy to catch? We're going to go for you. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm grabbing my wild area encounters. Then I'm going to turn off the internet. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm going to surprise trade, actually. And then I'm going to turn off the internet again. What was your first encounter? In the wild area? Yeah. I always go after stuffles. Oh, are you just going back to like the same exact area? Yeah, it's the easiest place to catch. That's fair. I've just been doing new routes every time. I've done a couple new routes. But I mostly just go like it's I just walk into the wild area, it's the first thing there, and I just grab and go. Yeah, because our encounters like really don't matter. Like we're limited to two wild area encounters, so it really doesn't matter where we get them from. I think it's yeah. just like Nuzlocke habit, like, oh we have to go to a new area and do that so yeah probably oh i never added another pokemon to my team i was wondering why cutie fly got added to my team oh i right. should not have done this um what level do you evolve do you know what level stuffle evolves uh i can find out oh no you don't have to worry about looking it up i feel like it's somewhere around like 30. Well, we've already got pokemon db pulled up uh, this 27. Guy's ready, man. 27. Okay, I can live with that. We're only actually like a level or two away. So that'll be good. We can have a beware. Um, I just got Squovet. Ooh, that's good, man. No, it's not. What are, what are you talking about? That's a literal wall. Squovet or Squovet. And with, it's uh, level nine, so I gotta keep it. Oh, absolutely, dude. It's like one of the early route Pokemon. Yep. But that's okay. Like it, like I said, it's going to evolve into a Greedent very soon, dude. Greedent is great, man. It's like Bulk City. Plus no. you have like, uh, it's, it's uh, what is it? Um, Big Gulp and Spit Up and stuff, you know. No, thank you. All right, so let's see what we get for this cutie fly here. Hopefully no, we get something good, something power. What do we got? Ooh, Give me good. I will Give me take a good that. Give me a good reject. Give me a good reject. I will take this, guys. Like I oh, used this in my first playthrough. Er. I for sure connected with. Oh, I sent. I connected with PokeFlash.co. 
Yeah, PokeFlash.co, like, I love your shinies, but like, it doesn't help us here, bro. I, I just got a shiny Lapras. What are you holding? Ho not a Master Ball. Not a Master Ball. I don't need another Master Ball. Ooh, it is level 8. We might add this to our team now, actually. Although, are you better than... Well, you know what? We're going to keep that in the PC, but that is some power in the PC. I've used this in one of my playthroughs of Sword and Shield, and like... It's a solid mom. It's a solid mom. All right. Um, Which I guess we have to share with each other, right? Lapras. What? Uh, are we still sharing with our, what our encounters are? Yeah. Well, we have the dock either way. I, oh yeah, I think dock, we so got, I guess you're gonna we got to make sure to upload the update the dock after every episode. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I'm gonna update it right now while I'm getting my other encounter. Uh, we're just gonna yolo ball this cutie fly, and we got a. What did I get? Now I'm drawing a brain fart. Oh, it breaks out. Uh, oh, duh. we got a Mudsdale. Ah, nice, nice. That's really good. Uh, yeah. It's another ground type. I don't like that. Yeah, exactly. Like, I do have, like, Excadrill should be coming up really soon. So I'm not, like, like, I'm not jumping to putting it on my team. But that is really good to have solid ground type. Ooh. Okay. All right, I think we can quick attack this thing without killing it. You're, you're, we can, we can do this. Now that's a good Pokemon that I'll take. Now that's a good Pokemon. What'd you get? Down in attack, up in speed. I got my own Eevee. Ooh, that is good. That is good though. And it's down in attack, so like most of the good Eevees are special attackers anyway. So that kind of works out for you. All right, cool. So we just got a second cue to fly. Ice doesn't help me. It doesn't help me. Yeah, I totally was considering it. That's why, like, I uh, I think we discussed this off screen. But, yeah, that's why I took Eevee off of my team. Because I was like, I just need to, like, save this. I don't want to lose it right now. Um, And it's just not worth, like, anything right now as far as, like, evolving it or anything. So let's surprise trade this bad bitty and see mm. what we get. You don't learn enough at level one. Do any of them do? No, I mean, they learn, like, their basic moves, you know, like, Razor yeah. Leaf, uh, Ember, Ember, you know, Bite, all those kind of things. Or no, I don't think it starts with Bite, is it Faint Attack? It starts Umbreon. I what's see. your, uh, what's your, okay, so, favorite and which one do you think is the best as far as, like, evolutions go? both the same answer sylveon okay okay cool yeah i was gonna say sylveon for me all day as well i really so, like the, the shiny form of it Ooh, sylveon's a good mascot dude sylveon's yeah, I like my the, second favorite pokemon ever i don't blame you like it was honestly like it's like just the fairy typing is really solid i think it's super powerful it looks cool and like i said i love the shiny this is a dupes um but i love the shiny of it like you know the whole concept of having like a blue male sylveon and then like a pink female sylveon yeah um i do that a lot with them like whoopers um how like they're like blue and pink um i always think that that's really cool uh, we got a level 8 Choodle, so we are surprise trading this booty. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Huh? Why you do that? Ooh, Excadrills. I got School of It and Eevee, two ground, two normal types. But you what do you know think that trio looks like underneath? A buff Like man. under the ground. Like a buff daddy, like, like, uh, like that one, that one meme with the, yeah. with the Doug trio, like that. It's absolutely just, that. Just, just whop it right here. <laughs> dude, this is Pride Rock, man. We're literally on top of Pride Rock right here, dude. Holy shit, there's so many Excadrill here. Yeah, I know, dude. I saw a ton of them. And then Doug Trio just like... Boop, 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 boop. All right, sending our Choodle to Evan, my boy. What you got for us? Another <laughs> Choodle. Look at that. Dupe City... Biddy. Oh. Uh, I don't know, like... I don't even know what I want to do right now. I went from, like, being like, oh, my team is so good, to being like, I don't even know how I feel about it. 
All you lost was a Charmeleon. You still have power. You got Gorgeist. You've got Nido King. You've got Lapras. Gorgeist you've got a freaking Reggie Gigas without slow start. Like, Gorgeist that you hacked that into the game in the previous episode without anybody seeing. Gorgeist just isn't good, though. Yeah. I mean, I, it's not bad. I want a Bulbasaur or something. I feel like... Oh, no. I didn't want the cutscene. No. I feel like Trevenant's a better Grass Ghost. Absolutely. I mean, it gets Horn Leech. It's just... The design is so much and cooler. And also, like, the ghost typing. Like, I've got Mimikyu to add to my team. But Mimikyu also isn't good right now. It doesn't have we had fairy. A once. They need more fairy type moves, like physical fairy type moves. Because I like, think so too. Only play rough. Like no fairy types have a decent uh, move pool for fairy typing because it's there's nothing. Yeah, which is really unfortunate because there are like like uh, isn't Galarian Rapidash a physical attacker? Yeah. Yeah, and um. What else? Uh, Tapu Bulu? Yeah, Tapu Bulu doesn't even get a physical fairy type move. Yeah, like that's so sad. Like, what are you gonna do? You're a physical attacker that doesn't, like, you can't use them to the fullest. The only thing Tapu Bulu gets is dazzling moves, fairy type moves, if I'm not mistaken. Come on. Actually, no. Actually, no. We take this. What am I saying? We take this. You quad resist him. You quad resist the next gym. We totally take this. I've Tapu never been this hype for a freaking blip bug, but all right, let's go. Well, yeah, Tapu Bulu's only two fairy type moves that it gets is Nature's Madness, which all the Tapus get, and Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, that's just it really unfortunate, like a base honestly. 80, a base 80 physical attacking fairy type move would be absolutely phenomenal for it. Yeah, I'm hoping that they put out some more stuff in, like, uh, like Scarlet and Violet. Yeah. I hope they have, like, a lot more, like, moves and different things like that. I really want to see another evolution. I know that there's still so much potential for, like a ton of them and like the fake mon evolutions for like all the different ones just look absolutely sick yeah. so like i just want to see it official it's got to be do dragon it, game unless freak. they go to the physical side um yeah i feel like they will do dragon it just dragon makes sense because all like the whole time we've always been like oh yeah it's all the evolutions plus dragon add dragon and it's just all, all the evolutions you know yep. so but i guess we'll have to see man I feel like they've been wanting to, but they've also just been like, nah, we're not going to give it to you. Like, it's like BDSP. Yeah. Like, they're just like, nope, we're not going to give it to you. And then whenever they do give it to you, it's just like, oh, gee, thanks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, I do think that, like, the game itself, like, the colors and everything like that, like, it looks pretty. Like, it's a very good-looking game. I feel like the biggest beef with it is just the fact that, like, they didn't add really much of anything other than like changing the grand underground and like the elite four yeah and adding the fairy type yeah exactly exactly so yeah i definitely love to see a lot of new stuff um in scarlet and violet but let us know down in the comments guys what you guys are excited for for scarlet and violet just having competitive battles not be on sword and shield <laughs> <laughs> It has been in, like, and I guess that usually is, like, they are the, the, um, like, the main games and stuff for a while, usually is, like, the competitive games, but I feel like it has been, like, I was caught Please. off guard whenever they announced Scarlet and Violet, but I also feel like it's been due at the same time, like, like, if not for Legends Arceus and BDSP, they probably would have announced it, like, a year ago. Yeah. So, but you just can't, like, overhype something that's coming later. If you have something else coming that's yeah. kind of like what i feel like they like where they went wrong with releasing bdsp and arceus so close together because like i feel like it completely killed bdsp yeah and then sword and shield be well, not bdsp sword and shield. killed itself well it, it did but i feel like that didn't help at all because it was just like oh legends arceus is out now and this game is like i, I personally love it i think that there's way too much dialogue <laughs> but it's an RPG, so I mean, it kind of makes sense. You know, there's a lot of our, like dialogue and stuff in RPGs typically. For like a direct remake, it's not bad, but the fact is, the thing that like bothers me is it's seventy nine ninety nine for a port. 
It's 70? Oh, that's right. It's more for you in Canada. Oh, yeah. It's Canadian. It's only Sorry. 60 for us. Yeah, it's $59.99. It's a full price Nintendo Switch game. Um, For, like, um, for freaking the exact same game just ported to the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, and I feel like them just, like, pawning it off to another company to do, like, definitely didn't help either. <laughs> mm. But... Change it they up. Have. Add, add Megas or add Dynamaxing into it like you always do. Like Oras. Oras was a new sequel, but it had Megas. Yeah. LGP yeah, I, had Megas. I, I think that the problem was is like Dynamax got a lot of beef. Yeah. Um, And I think that because of that, like a lot of people... Like, like, I think that made Game Freak, like, not want to throw it in there. Maybe it was, like, considered or something at a time, but I just want to see Megas back. I feel like all of us, like, true Pokey fans just want to see Mega Evolutions back. But yeah, I'm I see how it back. is. I see how it can be, like, a little bit of a difficulty for them as far as, like, balancing and, like, you know, you have to make new forms for everything. You have to, like, it, it well, is a lot of extra work. Forms, like, that's... Yeah, oh yeah, God, that's true. Battle. Speaking of, no, did you over. see the one regional form that got, um, like, somebody saw in, like, one of the videos or, like, something like that? No. Okay, so be ready here because in case somebody doesn't... Well, how do I do this? I don't want to give a spoiler to anybody who doesn't want to know. Okay, so either, like, either don't listen here, or, like, skip ahead, like, 30 seconds or whatever while we talk about it, um, or just, you know, whatever. But, yeah, so it was an Oddish. Um, oh, yeah, it looks but like I, think a that, little... I think that was announced to be fake. Is it? I think it was revealed that it was fake. See, I... Yeah, I could definitely see that, because I saw a Gloom one afterwards, like, a little bit after, and I was like, okay, maybe it's possible. But, yeah, it definitely could be fake. That's always the tough part, like, when new games are coming out, because people are like, check out this new Pokemon. My father works for Game Freak, and he said that this is going to happen in the new game now. Yeah. Like, that hasn't been done, like, a thousand times. Although there is, like, one or two guys um, that are usually pretty reliable. As far as like what they are saying and stuff, yeah. Because I know that like when like I was somewhat on board with like spoilers for Sword and Shield, um, but now I'm kind of in that mindset where like I want to be surprised. Like I want to have that thrill of the surprise, especially like being a content creator now. Like I like to, you know, share that excitement and those first experiences like with everybody. Um, just because it's just, it's just more fun. Like you're going through it the first time and seeing everything for the first time. There's that whole, like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't want to say nostalgia, because that's the wrong word, but, like, that whole just, like, new game excitement, I guess, you know? Like, that new toy. Yeah, for sure. But. Um, okay. Did you get, did you get an Applin? Oh, no, you didn't get an Applin, did you? No, I have not. Okay, I think I was somebody I was watching got an Applin. No, yeah, but I am battling the... Team Yell. Yo, slow down, man. Slow down. I just got to hammer a lot. Oh, really? No. No, I just finished the whole uh, thing with the museum or whatever. Oh. With Sonia the Baddie? Yeah, the Sonia the Bay. Calm down, bud. It's just a drawing. One thing that I am kind of hoping for is um, Swablu was shown in the um, uh, yes. Swablu, Swablu was shown in the trailer, so I'm, I'm kind of hoping that we get like a regional uh, evolution for Swablu because yes. we know that that is a thing now with the whole wheezing. Yes, I will say that makes me sad. Like, I really want. I really want them to, like, if they're going to make a regional form, I like to see both stages. Like, it makes me, yeah. like, like I'm kind of sad that we never got, um, you know, a like regional, a Galarian a uh, yeah, coughing exactly. and stuff. 
which could have been really sick because it also doesn't make sense like with how different his color is like yeah like especially like reading the whole um like pokedex entry and stuff like it doesn't it doesn't really make sense yeah so you know like he just somehow like changed like you expect me to believe that this coughing because he evolved somewhere else just like transformed differently i ain't buying it bud yeah what else did anybody else get shafted like that uh, probably, um, trying to think, trying to think, uh, yes. Oh my god, who was it? There's somebody uh, else. uh, uh, Marowak. Yeah, Marowak. Alola Marowak. Because I think that, like, you basically, like, whenever you get it, it's already just Alola Marowak, isn't it? Well, you can get it as an Alola Marowak, but no, you can also evolve oh, true. Yo, Team Yellow has a level 30? You're capping right now. You're totally capping right now, right? I am not. Uh, I might die. Are you in the battle? Yeah. Yeah, the second yeah, trainer has a level 30. Uh, alright, well. Yeah, there's the level spike we were talking about. <laughs> and you start with Stunky? What? Get out of here at that. Uh, who do I go out into? Um, Gosh, dude, this Drillbur until it evolves is literally useless. <laughs> like, all it knows <laughs> yeah. is Mud Slap. Yep. Like, they did not give it anything. It and I'm not taking soon. that thing. It does give Uldos soon? Mistake, okay, that's yeah. good. That's good. I was I was like worried that I was just gonna sit here and have to deal with this the whole time until it evolved. Which is it might be before the next gym, but I'm oh, totally not taking it into the gym. Never mind, Jober gets a dig at level 32. That's it. Which is soon. The, why why do they give you dig at 32? Like there's some moves that I'm like, why would you give it so late? Gets rock side at 28 if that helps. Uh, I mean, it, it helps. It definitely makes it a little more usable. But. Oh, man. I gotta say, dude. Team Yell might literally be my least. That aftermath uh, damage did so much. Honestly, for me, Team, team Plasma. Hot take. Team... No, Hot I'm sorry. Hot take. Team Plasma Worse? is my least favorite. What? Team You're kidding Plasma me, right? is my least favorite. Team Plasma, like from Gen 4? Um, or Gen 5? Gen 5, yeah. No! Oh, Joper does learn Rock Slide right now. No, dude, no, no, no. You're telling me that gets this? Yep. Dude, least gets this? That dude least straight favorite. up wants to destroy the entire world least just so favorite. people will get rid of their Pokemon. Least Are you favorite. kidding me? How? Don't like him. Dude, that's unfortunate, man. Like, Getsus is, like, in my opinion, like, S-tier protagonist or antagonist. Don't like him. Do we die here? <laughs> we got aftermath poison damage. We did not die, but dang, I need to get the frick out of here. Uh, okay, that's decent. You know what? I'm gonna let you evolve. How are you now? Yeah, um... We actually might have the gym in the next episode. I don't think we can. <laughs> I know! Well, actually, no, because we, we're, we're at the 23-minute mark, so maybe not. Yeah, we're at the 23-minute mark. Uh, I know, honestly, able to get once, done you're, with Team Yell. once you're done with Team Yell, we'll, we'll just wrap it up. Yeah, that Keep way we can shorter. go through. We'll, we'll get our levels up in the next episode. Grind. Yeah. That way we can grind uh, after, like, the next episode before our next recording session. Because, like, I can't I can't take the pause to record now because I, I've got the um, her appointment in an hour. Yeah, no, that's fine. Plus, my little sister's here in town. Getting nice, ready for her nice. wedding in September. Oh, shit. Right? Yeah, dude, yeah. So, yeah, it's exciting, man. It sucks that, like, she's only here for three days, obviously. But, like, it's it's nice getting to see her. Because she moved out to Alaska um, 
right before Thanksgiving, so I haven't seen her since. Ah. Me. Last. Oh. Yo, our blip bug's evolving she's already. She's more north than me. Oh my, yeah, dude. She's way up there. Like, it's crazy. Like, it takes her, like, like a two or three hour flight just to get to, like, Anchorage. Yeah. I don't know where that <laughs> and is. And then a but... layover. Uh, Anchorage in Alaska. Um, oh. And then, like, another layover in Seattle. So it was just, like, crazy. Wow. Yeah, I think it was, like, 15 hours to get here or something like that. I'm actually going to use some candies to just get my mons up to, like, level 30. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. I'm probably going to do some more, like, dens and stuff in between just to, like, get up my levels and just to have candies just so I can, like, if I get an encounter, I can just, like, quick grind it up. Especially with the surprise trade. Like, it sucks getting something, like, right before the gym. Um... Hey, you know what would have been really nice if you were going to make me, like, battle these trainers by myself? Maybe, like, give me a heal or something, buddy. For sure, for sure. I saw Fury Swipes. I was like, if this does a lot, I might be in for some... Oh, that crit does not help. Did you really just get a four spot? Okay, can we kill with this one shot, please? Yes, you're frail. You're just a little kitty cat. You're going to die in one shot, right? Yes! Nice, dude. So I just killed his life hard in one shot. Dude, nice. I need to nickname this Blossom because it is absolutely a beast. You're supposed to be nicknaming your Pokemon. Yeah, I know. I'm bad about it, guys. Don't worry. In the next episode, whenever we come back, my Pokemon will all be nicknamed. I will make Salty wait for me to take my mid-episode pee break that I have to take every time. And me to change my nicknames. So, But I'm out of the battle now, Salty. Oh, I just got into a battle, but I'm going to stop it here, and I'm going to take on this trainer in the next episode. So, guys, if you want to see me take on this trainer and see if I'll lose, find out in the next episode on Roki's channel tomorrow. That's it for this one, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy, and as always, stay salty. Stay salty.